All right, the main event, non-title, by the way, mm-hmm. Vader versus Cactus Jack in a Texas death match. Which was means, it non-title, by the way? Do we know? I, they just said it was non-title. I guess they didn't want to sell a pay-per-view. I, <laughs> I mean, God forbid, it's not like Cactus was winning. She just I, made I a title either. match. Yeah, that's odd. So the Texas rules, Texas death rules are, and this is how they explained it. Number one, no disqualification. Number two, falls don't count. <laughs> let, me repeat, let me repeat this one. <laughs> Number two, falls don't count. Number three, 30 seconds between falls, <laughs> which do not count. Number four, the falls that don't count right. can take place any place in the building. I think they're saying, Vinny, that it's like, if it, I don't know if you could go to a draw in a Texas death match, but if you do, it's not like, oh, well, he got three falls and he got two falls. Therefore, he's the winner. No, the falls don't count. The falls, the falls are merely a clock starter. Yes. But it was sure. weird because, like, in WWE rules, and and granted, I mean, some of their falls count anywhere, or Texas death match, or last, last man, standing man standing is what they call it. Yeah. We've seen some fucking boring ones of those, but the the problem with those is... The referee counts so fucking slow. So it's like me and Vinny will go down, I'll get up, and the ref will go, on. They're trying to make it as dramatic as possible. You go and get something to eat and come back, and the ref's like, two. It's five minutes before he finishes, gets to nine, and then the guy gets up. What they do here is, if you get a pin, the ref then goes, 30-second rest period. Yes. But they don't count, so it's like the, the guy is just looking at his watch, and then he'll go, 10 seconds left. And so finally, after the 30-second rest period, then the ref's like, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and the guy jumps up his feet as fast as he can. It's It it, it just kills the momentum. Yes. You thought last man standing matches in WWE were bad? These rules are way worse. Why is there a rest period after a fall? And then you start counting after the rest period. What? I don't know. Who invented these rules? Texas. Some Texan? Who was it? I don't know. So the actual action, it's Cactus Jack and Vader. It was very good. They beat the shit out of each other. That's for sure. Jack is suplexing Vader on the ramp repeatedly. I did not see that coming. They brawl up to the stage where Vader falls into his own unmarked grave. And it wasn't unmarked. Bleeding. It said right, Vader. Right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. It was his own marked grave. I mean, it might have been Darth Vader's grave, but one way or the other, it was not unmarked. So we're like four minutes in, and Cactus Jack hits a DDT on the ramp and pins him. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that. But so then this- it's not like a big deal. It's like, well, Vader's been pinned. Now let's rest for 30 seconds. And we all <laughs> sit there while this fucking guy is looking at his watch. We're also, four, we're also four minutes in. Cactus Jack is bleeding hard way from the eyebrow and the yeah. cheek. And yeah. Vader has fell, fell into his own grave, gigged, and he's bleeding a gush. His marked grave. It's clearly marked grave. <laughs> now that I think <laughs> about it. I don't know why I wrote one down unmarked. It was definitely marked. Because you're a dummy. I'm a big, stupid dummy. So That was earlier. Wow. Jack hits the elbow off the ramp to the concrete. Gets that another looked pin. like it fucking sucked. They didn't even sell that one at all. This guy jumps off the goddamn ramp. It doesn't even land on his hip. He lands like sitting on his ass for this elbow drop. And yes. you just hear, Gung! and then he just gets up and he's walking funny. And the answer is like, flying elbow off the ramp. Actually, and he, he pins he Vader. Yeah, he yeah, pinned, another he pin, pinned yeah. him there. But of course, Vader got back up, so it didn't really matter. Yes. This was, by the way, 28 seconds after the ref finished counting for that last one. Yeah, I don't know how many times Vader got pinned in this match, but it had to be more than he got pinned the rest of the year combined. It doesn't matter, Vinny. They don't count. These pins don't count. Uh, we get a... I got that already. Uh, they try to use a table in the ring, but the table won't break. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they First, they throw the table into the ring. And then they put it in the corner, but it's facing the wrong way. So Nick fucking Patrick has to go over there and turn the table around the right way. So then the spot is Mick is going to whip Vader into the table, and I guess, you know, they want the table to break. But I'm not sure that they did, because Vader decides he's going to go into the table by doing a belly flop onto the table. So it's like, 
I mean, his belly's not flat, but in theory, like, it's a flat surface onto a flat surface. So he just bounces off it like a trampoline, and the table doesn't break. And finally, Nick Patrick just looks at the table, and he puts it on the mat, and he kicks it out of the ring. And we never <laughs> used it again. I was like, this is so old school. Like, oh, we'll use a table. Maybe it'll break. Maybe it won't. Not like today where you've got, like, 18 tables, and you got a spot for every one of them. So Vader's in the floor. Jack's in the apron. And he starts to run. I think, okay, he's going to do the flip dive, and Vader will catch him, and they'll both go down. No. Mm -mm. Cactus Jack goes flying over Vader to do a sunset flip. He goes splat on the floor. My God. God. And Vader didn't even get sunset flipped. He tries a sit-down splash, but Jack dodges that, so Vader sits hard on the floor. They're beating the hell out of each other. Chairs are used. A DDT is hit in a chair. Uh, they're, They're on the ramp. See, Vader gets a pair of the moonsault. <laughs> this I'm finish out. is so dumb. I am all over the place. They, they, they well, show... you are because it doesn't make any fucking sense what they did at the end. Yeah. Harley is for some of the, I guess the, I, I'd call them near falls, but they were falls even though the falls didn't count. Right. But during some of the falls, you see him very clearly prepping what is supposed to be a taser. And he takes out a machine the size of like a football. And <laughs> he holds it out and he goes, kick, 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 and it's got sparks flying everywhere. And like, what is that? What does Harley Race have? Yeah, but and like the, the fucking rules stated, there's no DQs, yeah, but this right. guy's still having to hide this taser. Oh, we don't want the ref to see me with this taser in this no disqualification match. He's being all sly. Yeah. And uh, but, and also the camera gets close. He says, ah, get that camera away from me. Rah, 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 rah. So Vader, it's a moonsault, gets a pin. They keep fighting. They go on the ramp, and Jack is a sleeper in the back, and Vader just does the nest he plunge and just squishes him. That was the scariest thing in this entire match. I don't know how that guy survived. That was yeah. brutal. Remember the time the Big Show did it to him? At least that was in the ring. Yeah, at least there was some give. This, yeah, this, ramp, on the ramp. this ramp was like made of cement. Vader's not that much smaller than Big Show. It's brutal. So, yeah. Um, so there's a DDT on a chair. I didn't write out who hit it. Somebody hit a DDT on a chair and got a pin. But then during what was supposed to be the rest period, they just kept fighting and no one cared. So then the referee starts to count 10 for both guys. Okay, so let me explain what happened. It was Cactus Jack that gave Vader the DDT and pinned him. Okay. So Vader has been pinned and it is now time for the 30 second rest period. Okay, so let me let me just repeat this for everybody. Vader has been pinned. It is time for a 30 second rest period. During the 30 seconds, they both get to their feet and there is a there is another spot where they both fall down. Okay, but there's no pin. Right. Right. There was no pin there. I guess. That's... And then the, the ref starts counting both of them. I'm like, why are you counting Jack? Jack has not been pinned. Vader's been pinned. So the ref starts counting both of them. Vader gets up. Jack is about to get up. And Harley zabs him with the gimmick. And so Jack can't get up. And so they rule that Vader has won. Mm-hmm. Even though there was no reason to count Cactus Jack. He never got pinned. That's correct. So they fucked up their own rules. Mm-hmm. They had a fuck finish in a in a Texas death match. The fans are chanting bullshit because it is, in fact, bullshit. And uh, somehow Dave gave this four and three quarter stars. I'm not quite <laughs> I sure. I, I mean, Jack was still fairly new in the scene. This is a lot of stuff people have not seen before. Mm-hmm. Cactus Jack would have lots of matches better than this. Yes. So, I mean, quite a show, I guess. Um, I can't say it was good. It was not the worst show I ever saw, although it was headed that way after, after a while. Mm-hmm. And By uh, the way, uh, one other quick thing. So, uh, you know how Harley used to do that diving headbutt? Sure. I do. And uh, his neck was all messed up, and he was always telling these youngsters not to do the, the diving headbutt. Well, I hope he also told those guys never to take DDTs on the stage. Because when this was over, Mick Foley gave Harley Race a DDT on the stage, and it was the most horrifyingly shoot-style DDT I've ever seen. Harley just goes... It's like, you know those DDTs where you can either take it like people took Jake Roberts, which is flat in your stomach, or the way that people take it nowadays where you roll through, you just like do a forward roll? Yes. Harley did it right in the middle. He starts to roll, but then stops, 
and then just goes straight down at his fucking head, and then he just flat just dies on the. Ra- it was the scariest looking fucking DT. He's like fifty years old or something like that. Wow, it was brutal. That was how they sent the fans home happy. <laughs> <laughs> we not sent Harley home happy. No, not at all. It's party time on the program today. I got our main man, Filthy Tom Lawler, here. We're going to have a celebration for you for your for your epic victory here. Please sit down, Tom. What's going on? You are talking to the champ, baby. Yeah. The new Japan strongest. I got balloons for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yes. There were no balloons. It said, congratulations, new... New Japan Strong Openweight Champion. So instead I got thinking of you and a cat. We're not going to be drinking here on Twitch. We're only going to have a shot. That doesn't count as drinking. The finest. The finest absinthe. A Brian-sized Diet Coke. Look at this thing. Yeah, this is this is a big one. Probably a little bit too big, but you know what? Let's do this. One, two, three. Oh, man. Oh. The greatest mixed martial artist slash wrestler in figure four history, Thomas Lawler, the greatest Taurus that has ever been a champion professional wrestler. The greatest Taurus? You know what I always do when we're done with calls? I hit this button. You know what it says? It says this. We are sorry, but the show has ended. Goodbye. This right here, my friend, this is Mini Zazu. He is the new show mascot. He's going to be sitting here. He's so proud of you for what you did over that weekend, Tom. Congratulations, Tom. Thanks, man. That's right. No tears on this show, Tom. Come on, buddy. There, Hold it together. Joy. You did a there, great job. Joy. We're all proud of you here. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.